Hello everyone, and let's check out the second official game between Morphe and Anderson. So as you know, the first player who scores the seventh win is going to be victorious. And Morphe has the black pieces this time. And this game was played in December 21 in 1858. One day later, after the disastrous game of Paul Morphy against Anderson. So in the previous game, Paul Morphy lost to Anderson. And Anderson is leading with one point. And Morphy is zero points right now. Anyway, so Paul Morphy is here to revenge. But I'm assuming that Paul Morphy was still ill. And he was still suffering because of that terrible illness and because of losing significant amount of blood. Paul Morphy was feeling terrible because of the treatment of leeches anyway. So Adolf Henderson, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, e5 by Paul Morphy, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5. Spanish opening, Morphy played a6, bishop to a4, knight to f6, d3, bishop to c5, c3, b5, attacking the bishop, bishop to c2, d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, h3, by Anderson, preventing bishop to g4, but after this move, both players castled, h6, d4, e takes, c takes on d4, bishop to b6, knight to c3, knight from d to b4, bishop to b1, Saving the bishop, bishop to e6, a3, knight to d5, knight to e2, knight to f6, bishop to e3, rook to e8, knight to g3, and bishop to c4 by Paul Morphy. And in this position, actually, Paul Morphy is winning. It was not like the end of the world for Anderson, but this was very annoying, believe it or not. So after bishop to c4, the first move comes to mind is defending the rook, rook to e1. But Anderson didn't play rook to e1. Actually playing bishop to d3 was the better move. But Anderson played knight to f5. And after this move, Paul Morphy captures the rook. Bishop takes on f1, queen takes on f1. And Anderson is losing the exchange. And why Anderson sacrificed the exchange if rook to e1... Well, knight takes on d4, of course. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes on d4. Bishop takes bishop. After bishop takes on d4, rook takes on e1. Queen takes on e1, queen takes on d4. And in this position, black is better. Black is winning. So, of course, after bishop takes on d4, if queen takes on d4, then queen takes queen. If bishop takes queen, then rook takes rook. And white is losing, king to h2, bishop to d3, it's over for white, as you can see. And in this position, the better move was, bishop to d3, this was much better, queen to d5, knight to e2, knight to e4. Well, according to the computer engine, white is fine. Maybe Anderson was afraid of losing the pawn. So anyway, we have knight to f5, and Morphy captured the rook. Queen takes on f1, knight to e7, knight 3 to h4, knight takes knight, knight takes knight, queen to d7. Bishop takes on h6 by Anderson, sacrificing the bishop for creating a killer attacking position. What a move! Well, Paul Morphy captured the bishop, but then queen to c1, attacking the pawn. Bishop takes on d4, but then queen takes on h4. And suddenly, Adolf Anderson has a very annoying attacking position for black. And Morphy played rook to e1, that's check, king to h2, and then knight to e4. Defending the checkmate square with the bishop. After knight to e4... Anderson played, bishop takes on e4, and rook takes on e4. Of course, after bishop takes on e4, Paul Morphy probably considered capturing the rook. But then we have knight takes on d4, 
If queen takes knight, then there is force checkmate in four moves, just like this. And in this position, black is getting checkmated. So maybe exchanging the queens should be better. No, bishop takes on a8. And in this position, white is better, and white is winning. It's quite a complicated position, so after bishop takes on e4, Paul Morphy preferred, of course, capturing on e4, so bishop was attacking the rook. Queen to g5, that's checked by Anderson, king to f8, queen to h6, king to e8, and then knight takes bishop, and Morphy played queen to d6, check. Morphy wants to exchange the queens, also attacking the queen, so queen takes queen, c takes on d6, Rook to d1, defending the knight, king to f8, rook to d2. Well, in this position, Paul Morphy is a rook up. Paul Morphy has the exchange. And black should be better, but no. In this position, we have knight against rook endgame. But of course, white has one extra pawn. So this is not all over for white. And in these kinds of position, this knight could be very tricky. Rook from a to e8, g4, rook from a to e5, f3, rook to e1, h4, rook to d5, king to g3, a5, h5, king to g8, king to f2, rook to e8, king to g3, king to h7, king to f4, rook to e7, king to g3, f6, king to f4, rook to e8, and Anderson played king to g3, and Morphy played rook to e7, and the game ended here, believe it or not, the game ended in a draw. Paul Morphy didn't want to take any risk against Anderson, and in this position, even the computer engine is not giving any advantage to any player. So Paul Morphy doesn't have any idea in this position, he doesn't have any bright ideas, any creative ideas. So Morphy preferred to draw the game. Both gentlemen agreed to a draw. Maybe Morphy was afraid because of the pawn structure, and it looks okay for white. And the position is equal according to the computer engine. Morphy didn't want to take any risk, so Morphy prepared to defeat Anderson in the next game when he was going to play with the white pieces. So of course Anderson was probably happy after this position, after drawing the game. So he lost the exchange, but managed to survive. So anyway, this was not a very impressive chess game between these two players. But still I showed the game. This game was a draw, and this was the last position of the game. And I see you guys next time, with the third game of Morphy and Anderson. Take care, and bye bye.